Hey Fit Fam, welcome back to this channel. I'm so excited for this workout because this was a highly requested video. This workout is part of the Fall Fit Full Body Workout Challenge and I'm so excited to bring to you a back workout. So let me know what you all think. I love seeing all of your selfies and comments letting me know how the challenge is going. If you have any requests for videos, you can put them in the comments below. Make sure to follow me on IG and participate in the poll so I can hear from you. So without further ado, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and let's get started. We've got 14 exercises, 45 seconds of work if you're intermediate, 30 seconds of work if you're a beginner, and 15 to 30 seconds of rest. The modifications for this whole workout will be at the beginner level, doing 30 seconds of work and 30 seconds rest. You'll hear a sound to know when to take your rest. We'll begin with the W back extension. Lying on your stomach, lift your arms and upper back, lifting your chest off the ground. Make sure to squeeze your shoulders at the top. Take a pause and come back down. Inhale as you squeeze up and exhale as you come back down. For the modification, that's your bell, you can rest. Otherwise, you've got 12 more seconds. Great work. We're just getting started, so find a pace that works for you and keep that momentum the whole time. Next up, we've got the reverse snow angels. With your arms out wide, laying on your stomach, bring your arms up and over, then back down. Make sure to lift your chest off the ground as your arms come up, but keeping your back engaged the whole time. This is really going to engage your upper middle back or your rhomboids and the back of your shoulders, your posterior delts. That's the bell. Take your rest for the modification. Make sure to keep yourself accountable for the whole workout if you're going all the way to the last bell. Listen to your body, take a pause if you need it, and then get right back into it. You've got 15 seconds rest, then we've got the boat to bent knee. Keeping your chest and arms up the whole time, bend your knees in a slow and controlled movement here. Throughout this whole workout, you want to keep a mind-muscle connection with your back. This will be incredibly important to engage the right muscles. Yes, way to work. Next up is the side to side back extension. With your hands on your head and your chest lifted up, bring each elbow to your side, pulling down, feeling this move in your lats, the muscle on the sides of your back. Forty-five seconds is a long time, so push yourself as hard as possible and take a rest when you need.
All right, flip over for the back widow. Drive the upper back off the ground through the elbows, engaging your rhomboids, your upper middle back, and your posterior delts, the back of your shoulders. Pause at the top, really engaging that mind-muscle connection, and back down again. Move in a slow and controlled manner as to not rely on momentum. All right, Fit Fam, we're over a third of the way through this workout. Check in with yourself. Only you can push yourself past your comfort zone. Tell yourself, I can do this. I can push through. It's a 14 minute workout. Next up is the rowboat, or as I like to call it, the booty slide. <laughs> With your elbows on the ground and your butt slightly hovering, drive your elbows into the ground and bring your butt towards your hand. You'll feel this in your lats and your core. Make sure to keep breathing through this move, as it's a tough one. Way to push through. Next, we've got swimmers. Alternate your opposite leg and hand, making sure your hands and legs don't touch the ground. Keep your back strong and engage the whole move. This workout is so good for getting a stronger back and better posture. I sit in front of a computer all day for work, so this has been my saving grace. Whew, we're halfway through this workout, y'all. Now we've got the arm flutters. With your arms out to the side and your chest lifted up, flutter your arms up and down. If you really want a challenge, engage your glutes and lift your legs off the ground as well. Next up is Cobra push-ups, the only time you can have a saggy butt during push-ups. With your hands directly under your shoulders, push up, keeping your hips on the ground, pinching those shoulder blades and keeping your core tight.
over two thirds of the way through this workout and you all are doing a great job. You've made it this far, so you should be proud of yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back and let's crush the rest of this workout. Now we've got lateral pulls into overhead reach. Lift your chest and legs off the ground, then pull your arms down, squeezing your lats, those side back muscles, and upper back. Now we've got the boat flutter kicks. With your arms down to the side, alternate kicking your feet. Let me be right by your side, cause I know that this is right. Don't be shy, just get to know me. We can take this somewhere else, you and me can find ourselves. Stop pretending we are lonely. Now we've got the back extension side reach. Keeping your upper back engaged the whole time, bring your arms side to side. We've only got two more moves after this. Now we've got the Superman to push up, lifting your legs and arms, then bringing your hands under your shoulders for a slow and controlled push up. Keep your core engaged and a tip for not letting your butt sag is actually engaging your quad muscles to promote a flat back. Last move is the bird dog. Reach your alternate arms and legs out, making sure not to overextend your spine. Reach forward and back, not upwards, and get a little squeeze at the top. We want to be intentional to pause at the top, really engaging that mind-muscle connection and not relying on momentum, but using the right muscles to contract. Finish strong and go all the way to the buzzer. You're almost there. Woo, way 
to go. This workout really got me and I definitely broke a sweat. Tell me what your favorite move was in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you're not already, and I'll see you at the next workout.